Good morning. Just finished my ruck march. According to the weather app, it's 36. And as you can see, probably in the background, overcast. <sighs> kind of a warmish morning compared to some I've had. And uh, starting to see the effects of spring on the way. Show you my yard. Still quite a bit of snow, but lots of bear patches. <clears throat> Depending on how the sun hits during the day. Well, like I said, I just finished my ruck march. I haven't been getting in as many ruck marches this winter. Um, mostly because of uh, lots of icy conditions. A little bit more than last winter. I don't know if it's a little bit more than usual or not. Because it depends on how big of a... a a sample you have how many years you're looking at before you can figure out whether it's the usual or not but anyway for those of you that set a rock marching or walking challenge for this year I hope you're still making progress I'm making progress um, I also picked up a personal training client so uh, he wants to meet in the mornings so that kind of cuts into my rock marching time but you know, customer's always right. So, I've been cutting back a little bit on my ruck marching. And then, like I said, there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of icing this winter. Um, and I just choose not to take that chance. I guess you can say whatever you want about that. But um, I'd rather continue to walk and not be injured than try to prove something by going out and seeing if I can walk on the ice and uh, get an injury that sets me back for four, four or five weeks or longer, depending on how bad the injury is. Because every time I've fallen, either running or walking, it's, well, you know, a little ankle twist or something like that, that only sets you back a couple days. But every time I've fallen pretty hard, it set me back for, for four weeks or five, at least, um, to, get back to where I was because you have to take some time off to let it heal and then you have to when you start back you've lost some of your fitness level and so I'd rather just maintain the fitness level and keep moving and uh, in order to do that sometimes you have to take a day off of one exercise um, as you all know I'm a big fan of the daily dozen so I do the daily dozen almost every day and uh, it's a really good uh, leveler, I guess you would say, because it's if you're short on time, you can fit it in, adjust the number of repetitions, uh, adjust even the number of exercises. You know, you can make it a little less than a dozen if you want. But uh, just keep moving, folks. Just keep moving. Um, I hope everybody's making progress on their goals. I know I'm making some progress on mine. Um, still haven't got that 25 pull-up goal out. That one's that one's still out there ahead of me somewhere. But um, take care, everybody, and I hope you have a great day today. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.